Today, we're going to be talking about the story of Eben Byers. Born in April on the 12th of 1880, Eben was a successful businessman, socialite, and a prolific golfer. In 1927, while traveling on a train, Byers fell from a bed, injuring his arm, leading to his doctor prescribing him a medicine called Radithor, a radium water solution that was advertised as a cure-all for the living dead. Manufactured by William J.A. Bailey, a Harvard dropout who faked being a medical doctor, Bailey offered his physicians a 17% commission for each dose of Radithor they prescribed. From 1827 to the end of 1930, Byers consumed about 1,400 doses of Redithor, going as far as taking about three doses of the drug per day. It was not until the placebo effect wore off and the true effects of daily consumption of radiation started to appear, and then he finally stopped, but by then it was too late. In 1931, a lawyer from the FTC reported that Byers, quote, whole upper jaw excepting two teeth and most of his lower jaw had been removed and that all of the remaining bone tissue in his body was disintegrating and holes were actually forming in his skull. Even Byers died on March 31, 1932 as a result of radiation-induced cancer and had to be buried in a lead-lined coffin as a result of radioactivity. An exhumation of his body in 1965 showed that his body still had dangerously high levels of radioactivity, but not at all his loss. Byers' death brought a lot of attention to radiation poison. So what happened to the man behind the Radithor? Well, despite FDA shutting down William Bailey's company, he became fifty rich from the sale of Radithor. He went on to start another company called Radium Institute, where he sold radioactive merchandise, ultimately dying a wealthy man at the age of 64 from bladder cancer. Well, there you have it. If you like this video, please subscribe as we will be posting more interesting stories. Thanks for watching.